Hey friends, it's Candace. This is my last video for the card buffet. Um, the Smile Beautiful card. Just want to remind you, um, this was supposed to be a live event, but I decided to go online with it. And hopefully I'll be able to reach more people um, to share the, the love of stamping. Um, so March host code um, from stampinup.com. If you order $25 or more using this host code, you will get 10 PDFs with measurements as well as four cards sent to you of your choice. If you just want to do the card the card buffet and get your kits, it's $20 via PayPal and I will um, email me or message me and I will send you an invoice to be paid. Um, and once I get that, I will... Um, send out your cards as well as email you your PDFs. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this card, Smile Beautiful, I use the cling stamp in the annual catalog called Wish For It All. Um, and so this I think would be a great bridal shower um, card. However, I am going to show you using the first frost how to put this card together because these card kits I want you to be able to use what you have and not have to buy all of the card kits or all of the stamp sets that I use for the card buffet so your kit will come with an envelope it'll come with the card base and we'll get that there it will come with a die cut and it will come with um, your background and I'll, I will show you how to cut these panels you don't have to cut the panels either that's the beauty of it um, and you'll also get some basic pearls in your kit. Okay, so let's get started. Again, I'm using the first frost. I'm going to make it a congratulations card. So you could do this for um, probably a wedding card is what it it will probably look like, look most appropriate for, I guess. I don't know. You could say congratulations for anything though, right? Okay, I just had my ink pad. Here it is. Okay, sorry. So this is Smoky Slate. And the first thing I want to do is stamp my envelope. Because I don't like sending naked envelopes. All right. And then I'll put a rose right here too. Maybe another one up here. Okay. And then we'll do our inside of our card. I'm just going to put a few roses in here. Okay. And then you can stamp a background if you want. I chose not to. I'm going to do some roses. Again, I love these watercolor stamps. Um, they're very elegant and detailed and then I'm going to put some of these leaves on there as well. Okay. And let's do one more right here. Okay. So there's our background and then I will stamp our sentiment and we will be done with our stamping. So congratulations right here. I think it fits. Yep. Okay, we can get our ink out of the way. Let me get my trimmer. So this panel I think is three and a half by four and a half and you're just going to cut these strips at one and a half inches, three of them. Okay, so one and a half, one and a half, and there's our three. And you can mix match them. If you want, you can, um, so this is my original card where I lined them all up. You can have them mix matched if you want. Um, you can mix them up if you want. Okay. I'm just going to stick with the original design. I'm going to use my grid paper here to find the middle of my card. Get the stamps out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to find the middle of my card, which is about there, and this is my middle panel, so 
I'm just going to center that there as best as I can. And of course, you don't have to be perfectly even or spaced. It's going to be beautiful either way. Okay. And then just put a little bit of space in between each of these panels. Oops. Okay. Using my Tumble Liquid Glue. Okay. I'm going to need a little eraser. I don't know where it went. Okay. I will erase that later <laughs> before I send it to somebody. Okay. And then what I did is I just put this banner on with some dimensionals. Okay. So let's put it on this side just to make it a little bit different so you guys can see. I I don't expect you to uh, stick to the exact template. Okay, and then I'll just put these pearls on here. And if you have rhinestones or something else that's blingy or you don't want these pearls on here, you absolutely do not have to use them. Okay, so there's our matching card and envelope. And here's our original card okay so again I'm gonna bring this paper in if you have any questions or you want to do this card buffet let me know by emailing me or messaging me you can do the $20 flat rate for 10 PDFs and four card kits or you can do the host code at stampinup.com with a minimum $25 order and once I see that order I will get these things sent out to you thanks for joining me and have a blessed day